Hey there, I'm Phil Putnam, and thanks so much for taking a moment to stop by and check out my website. I figure since you were nice enough to take some time and see what I've got going on here, I would take some time to say hello in person and give you a little bit of behind the scenes information about who I am and what I do. So some things you may not know about me, um, I was basically raised on Coca-Cola Classic, which would probably explain my uh, general energy level, being as manic as it is. Um, I hate tomatoes, so please don't throw them at me. I love zany, dark, twisted humor, so anything that's, that's crass, slightly sexual, you know, dirty, funny. When I was a kid, my sick movie, which is the movie that I watched every, every time I was homesick from school, um, it was the Care Bears movie, which was taped off of off of TV, and I loved it. I couldn't watch the Care Bears movie enough. And then when I was nine years old, uh, my sick movie became Steel Magnolias. So I think that was probably more of like an indicator of things to come a little bit later in my life, if you're picking up what I'm putting down. I, I can actually do that entire movie start to finish. It's really sad and it's really gay. Are they gonna make me eat a live chicken? Not on your first visit. Love, love, love the Muppets. Like, it's sort of scary and a little bit creepy how much I love the Muppets. Hopefully, if you're nice, you'll send me tons and tons of Muppet stuff. Janice Framita got hit in the head with the baseball. It was fabulous. <laughs> oh, I love that movie. I think I've got enough. <laughs> I've got enough embarrassing stuff from that. So one of the common questions I get a lot about my music is where does my inspiration come from? And it's just always, almost always from directly from my life and from my experience. You know, it's mostly people, mostly people who inspire me because they're really, they're really my favorite thing in life. Um, it really just depends upon what the song is saying. You know, sometimes songs are written in 15 minutes, just bam, you know, all at once. And sometimes they take months. They'll go back and forth and they'll influence each other. So it's really cool because, you know, the, how it started is never how it finishes. And so it's kind of fun and surprising to me to see how the music and the lyrics interact with each other and affect each other along the way. The smart ones are quiet. I've actually been playing piano since I was 18 years old. I'd always wanted to play piano, but never had a piano at my house when I was a kid. So when I got to college and I was studying music, I discovered the practice rooms in the music department, and they all had pianos in them, and I was just, I was just in heaven, you know. But I didn't really know if it was gonna, it was gonna work or not. I definitely had no idea it was gonna lead to what, you know, what it has. But I knew what the notes were on the keyboard from, from singing throughout high school, and I thought, you know, why not? Why not just give it a shot and see what happens? And it just took on a life of its own. So it was, it was an exciting journey. You can see in my hair, and people ask a lot if, uh, if I'm really that gray. And the truth is, I am, and I love it. I love my gray hair. Um, I started going gray when I was 17, actually. It runs in my family as far as my siblings and I. You know, no, uh, no highlights here or anything. I'm never going to color it unless I absolutely have to because it's sexy. Oh, yeah. People dig the gray. You know, it was interesting growing up with Tourette's, uh, you know, being the, being the kid who was uh, swearing uncontrollably in church. So, <laughs> not going to lie, sometimes it was fun. You know, it was tough to, to connect with kids my age, and I was really socially awkward, and, you know, really, I was this fat little girly kid, you know, with this brain disease, and it definitely was not the recipe for coolness in junior high. It's still a part of my life. It's, it's so mild at this point that you really can't. You can't tell that it's there unless I tell you, but it, it's something I bring up just because it is, uh, it is a force behind a lot of what I sing about. It's also a force behind my desire to connect with people. You know, having Tourette's is, is difficult for anybody who has it, regardless of the, of the severity of it. Um, but I really do think that, that it, can, it can shape somebody in a really unique way and give them something um, something to say that's worth listening to. I will fight for this. 
I've long believed that an audience is a gift and it's not a given. So I really just want to say thank you to you for taking the time to listen and to look and to, to give me some of your attention and check out who I am and what I do. I really appreciate you taking some time and digging in because without you it just doesn't go anywhere.